hey y'all welcome back to my channel i'm tamale if you're new here and today we're gonna be starting my cottage living let's play um but it's gonna be like a sim self legacy so it's gonna be loosely based on me uh like kind of what i look like kind of what i like um the story obviously is gonna go off into the future because we know that a legacy in the sims is 10 generations and um where i'm at right now it really is just me and my husband we don't live with my grandma on a cottage um but i thought it was the perfect opportunity to actually play this pack because i've been so excited about it and um a way to also incorporate a legacy on my channel that is a little bit more personal um because it'll be based on myself um yeah so you'll see a lot of my influence like a lot of things that you know like what would tamika do you'll, you'll see a lot of that influence coming through in this let's play and i'm really excited about it um it's going to be a little bit different than cole's world which is the other lp let's play that is on my channel it's the family dynamics challenge um and we're playing it it's called cole's world but this is not about that so let's not even get off topic right so as you guys know this expansion pack was released just a couple days ago and i've been excited about it before you know it, it even it was even released and to me they lived up to my expectations i really like it it's a lot of gameplay and yeah you can it's one of those feels like you can sit down and do it for hours you know um it was missing and i'm so happy that we have it there's a lot of cute features in there like the cooking with children or cooking together as a family that i really adore um so yeah I, it inspired me to to play um and to let you know the people who watch my videos get a chance to see some of this gameplay so yeah we're gonna have two lps on the channel but it's okay so keep a girl busy you know what i'm saying <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and get <clears throat> straight into the introductions. This is just a cast video today, um, episode like zero, if you want to call it that. Um, the next episode that you see will be actual gameplay. We'll be on the farm, Tamika and her husband, Daniel. They'll be moved in. Um, but yeah, you, you won't know what I'm talking about until I explain. So let's start from the beginning. So this person you're seeing on the screen right now, this is Grandma Sheena Blum. Or yeah, Blum. Yeah, let's call her Sheena Blum. This is my grandmother. Um, really cute. I think she's so cute. Um, I really enjoyed making her, especially like with all the new CC items, the the long granny dresses, and you know, I just loved it all. So um, yeah, I enjoyed making her. And I don't play with elders a lot in my game. Um, one, because I've never done a legacy. That might surprise some people. Well, it might not surprise you if you don't know how much I play The Sims. But if you knew how much I play The Sims, then you'd be like, what? Um, I, I think it's because of two reasons. One, because I like to play my my game on long. Um, I just like the idea of everyone living a full life, um, a long life and getting a lot of stuff done. Um, so I like the slow burn, which I mean, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I don't know. But yeah, I, I've never I've never had a legacy. Also, because like whenever I get bored with a family, I start all over again. That's why I like challenges so much, because there's always something to complete. And you can't get bored if you're busy so but anyways yeah so i never play with elders i said all that to say this i never play with elders in my game really and um i wanted to include sheena because i, I didn't see the connection between me and the cottage unless something like this happened like unless something like grandma sheena needs us to come to the cottage type thing and that's pretty much the story grandma sheena needs us to come to the cottage she's getting older and um she wants to be able to leave it to people who she you know who she can trust to make it her only grandchild so you know she wants to leave it to her grandchild and allow it to run in the family so next we have mr daniel moore and daniel is supposed to be like a play on my husband um i showed him i showed my husband uh daniel and Cass, and he was like who is that like he didn't recognize himself y'all but anyways i mean there are some similarities you know in the physical that look like my husband um but also in his traits you guys can see them right there um i gave him goofball lactose intolerant creative outgoing and a foodie um aspirations to be a big happy family so yeah he's excited about the move um mostly because he just wants to be there for grandma sheena grandma sheena has always been really good to daniel 
um, you know, anytime that they would go visit, she's just, you know, really good. She feeds him, y'all. That's what it really is. But she, you know, she, he helps out on the farm and she just, she's just really good to him. So, you know, he jumped at the opportunity to move from Del Sol with his little family, with his wife, and come to the cottage. You know, simple living, but um, Daniel has been doing hustle and bustle since he was a kid. So he's ready to kind of like, you know, kind of relax. He's a young adult now. Kind of just try to like, you know, sow some oats, I guess. Is that what they say in the country? I don't know. But he's ready to, you know, just, I don't know, create his legacy and, and do it with the woman he loves. And they're still young and they're... They're, they're just so cute and I just love them <laughs> so so yeah so that's so that's Danielle um I don't know what else to really say about him so we're just gonna move on to Tamika which is my sim self just so we don't keep the video too long it's just a cast so yeah and boom there she go okay so obviously I had to like generate <sighs> y'all okay anyways i'm not even gonna tell you how i created this sim okay because she ends up looking nothing like what you're seeing right now but anyways this is tamika moore this is my sim self um tamika i gave her then the new um aspiration that comes with the pack which i think is like country caretaker or something like that like you know I, I obviously i've never played with that aspiration before and i decided because it's a cottage living let's play Let's give the main character the newest trait. So I'm not gonna say it's because I really um, have this, had this aspiration all my life to do like a country living. I will say that I do live in like a busy area, like a city kind of area. And I always talk to my, my husband about moving out to like Georgia or like, you know, just moving out to an area where it's a lot slower, a lot more woods. Um, just because like when we're talking about like raising a family, I do, I would love to raise my family in a slower paced area. Um, you know, as far as from what the real world is, I guess, <laughs> as possible. But uh, nah, just, you know, just like a slower living, you know, where, where family is more important and more honored and people care about people and look out for people and, you know, just like, I guess, back to an older time. So I gave her that aspiration just because um, I'm going to be playing my wildest dreams through my sim self. And if I had to have a dream, she would definitely, that would definitely be one of her aspirations. Um, hopefully she can complete this kind of quickly and then we can move on to another one. That's my goal. Like I kind of want to use it to maneuver my way through the pack. I want to use the aspiration. But after she completes it, yo, we're moving on. You know what I'm saying? We're moving on. <laughs> uh, if you guys know anything about the legacy challenge um, that was started many moons ago, you need to start off with a single sim on a 50 by, I think, 50 lot or something like that and basically build 10 generations um we're doing we're gonna do that okay that's the that's the idea that's what we're going after but you know how i am with the challenges i love the challenges but i have to add my my flair i have to add a little bit of something to it so it's gonna be a challenge slash lp so i'm gonna be taking points you do get points for everything that you complete um and when we're completing them and stuff i'll be you know sharing my score sheet with you guys and kind of keeping you up to date but i don't want y'all to worry about the points i'll worry about the points you worry about just enjoying the story i'll worry about all that and i'll just let you guys know when we ac accomplish something else when we accomplish something new so it is going to be a legacy style let's play so we are going to get to 10 generations plus if we can you know um i am doing the i think it's called the strictly equality um rule gen uh bloodline rule so basically tamika is the first heir of this legacy when she has a boy that's going to be the next heir um and then you know when that boy grows up and he has a daughter that's going to be the next heir and that's how we're going to do it we're going to stay on this lot y'all we're not leaving this is where we live so that's going to be interesting right i mean we okay so so the rules say you can't leave right but what i'm thinking is is if we need to leave like if the story just needs to move we are moving okay we're not gonna lose any points nobody's gonna come for us if we move so we're gonna move and we're still gonna get the points for being a legacy challenge just because i said so <laughs> anyway so yeah i'm excited i'm so excited to get to number 10 as i see it right now though we're gonna complete all 10 on the farm um changing up the house you know things like that but we're gonna complete it right here um and i didn't want to start by myself because one um rags to riches is really cool i i actually think i'm actually thinking about bringing a rags to riches to my channel on sulani but um it 
boy do i get tired quickly i, I be wanting to see the little babies run around i be that's why i get my sims married so quick because i'm used to playing like a family style you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm married and i have nephews and nieces and i have a big family so i like to play my sims the family way so that's why i don't really rush to do a rags to riches where it's just you on a lot by yourself nothing else because i will throw that lp away so quick <laughs> like and i want to be true to myself and i want to do it my way so that i can keep on coming back to make more um let's play so i can watch them y'all can watch them and we could just all enjoy it right okay good so yeah so this is tamika moore um right now you only see and and, and by the way y'all um, for my friends who do watch this Let's Play, there's a there's a lot of jokes in this because Tamika is my real name. Danielle is not my real husband's name, but it's very close. And Moore is not our last name, but it's a play on reality. It's just really cool. I put a lot of thought into this. Okay, so if you see any of the the little things that I kind of made fun of or turned into like a little bit of an ironic joke, leave it in the comments. But if you don't, whatever, it's okay. No big deal. It, it it's still gonna be a good LP. So yeah. Um so yeah so after I, I did the cast for tamika that's when i got the um the more traits in cast mod so tamika actually has five traits total i want to say that the other two are foodie and uh, i don't remember but i'll reintroduce her when we get into the first episode but right now you see she has romantic maker and loves children um yeah so i don't know i don't want to give away too much before we actually start playing but i did want to give you guys a chance to kind of get a little bit of a backstory on the moors before we start their legacy and before i forget goodness how can i forget the most important part so the reason why tamika is relieved and actually she's i think the probably the most excited of all to be moving to um henford on bagley and it's because when they were living in Del Sol Valley, y'all, they were struggling, okay? They had no money. They were broke, 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 broke. And um, she feels like this is going to give them the opportunity to, you know, get their footing. Um, one thing that was really, like, kind of stressing to me got out a little bit was, you know, she really wants a big family. And, you know, her and her husband, they haven't conceived just yet. And we know that all thing works on God's timing and it works on timing, you know? But, um... I don't know i think tamika feels like maybe she needs to slow down instead of ripping and running doing hair doing school doing work doing dance doing all these things maybe she does need a slower paced life uh to you know cultivate that family that they've been praying for so that's a little bit of the backstory um i think that tamika thinks that you know when she gets there there's gonna that you know that, that things are just gonna automatically be okay but um you know what's a let's play without a little bit of a a struggle in the beginning so we're gonna see them actually come from i mean the farm is beautiful big beautiful house that i i, I believe i got it off the gallery amazing um but i uh they don't have any money i'm just gonna say it now why not get it out of the way they don't have any money okay so we're starting from the beginning in that way that the, the place has everything we need but we just gotta get it pumping there aren't any animals but there are some crops there so we're just gonna do the best that we can i'm, I'm gonna start them off with not extreme star extreme star i believe is zero dollars we're gonna do 1800 which is just the regular start the normal start but yeah we're gonna give them 1800 dollars and say hey good luck <laughs> and play through and struggle and it's gonna be amazing i can't wait to do it with you guys um before I sneak up out of here, though, I just want to say thanks again for stopping by. Um, if you're ex as excited as I am about watching yet another Cottage Living Let's Play, then definitely go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel so you can be a part of the gang gang. And uh, leave a nice little sweet comment. I do like to talk to you guys in the comments down below. Um, give this video a like so that I know I'm going in the right direction or thumbs down so that I know, okay, we need to probably think about some stuff. But, um that's all i got for you um until the next time y'all take it easy out there i'll see y'all in the next one peace